Breaking news, British fashion designer and activist Vivian Westwood has died at the age of 81. Her fashion house released a statement saying Vivian Westwood died today peacefully and surrounded by her family in Clapman, South London. The world needs people like Vivian to make a change for the better. She played a big part in bringing modern punk and new wave fashion into the mainstream in the 1970s. Vivian started being noticed when she made clothes for musician and her partner, Malcolm McLaren's boutique on King Road in London. King News reaching us here at Sky News Centre that the fashion designer Dame Vivian Westwood has died at the age of 81. In a statement on Twitter, her fashion house said that she died peacefully and surrounded by her family in Clapham in South London. Well, let's get uh, the latest with Sky correspondent Sadia Chowdhury joins me now. And uh, Sadia, Dame Vivian, of course, best known for the punk years and her collaborations with Malcolm McLaren. Yes, she is considered a fashion royalty, isn't she? Uh, Dame Vivian Westwood, who sadly died at the age of 82 today. She is someone that is considered to have shaken up the industry, to have really pioneered um, punk fashion. She's someone uh, who pioneered the punk fashion scene in the 1980s and she brought together uh, punk, modern punk and a new wave fashion, which uh, is really her legacy. A lot of people would have seen some of her uh, um, items on the catwalk and thought this isn't something that can uh, come into mainstream, but she managed to deliver it. Uh, she was um, someone who uh, designed clothes for celebrities and royalty. Princess Eugenie wore one of uh, Vivian Westwood's um, ensembles to Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding. She also designed clothes for um, music stars and rock stars, uh, Pharrell Williams uh, among them. Um, her designs featured in films, including the 2008 film adaptation of the TV series Sex and the City. But she really came into prominence um, when she opened a boutique on King's Road in London with um, the manager of the Sex Pistols, Malcolm McLaren, as you say. Um, but she's also someone who was considered a uh, an activist. She, she was never one to just stick to fashion. She uh, stepped into politics as well. She's a, a keen supporter uh, of the Green Party, reportedly donating £300,000 to them at one point. She's someone that uh, believed in sustainable fashion long before sustainable fashion became fashionable. Um, and she was also a supporter of Julian Assange, the founder uh, of WikiLeaks, she visited him several times in the Ecuadorian embassy when he was there. But, you know, she is someone who is considered royalty. She's a big, big name in British fashion, a, a real pioneer of the punk scene uh, of the 1980s and someone who, you know, really started that, not just with that story in Kings Road, but which then became. hub of the punk scene, but someone who uh, has, has a long lasting legacy. And I'll just uh, read out to you a tweet from her.